some smoke. Oh, no. In this competition, when the going gets tough, the tough get tiny. Oh, it's really smoky. Really, really smoky. So <laughs> On today's episode, we're cooking up a small scale snack with tiny Tex Mex vibes. Over in the tiny prep kitchen, Hannah, our masterful tiny food expert, is corralling some tasty ingredients for our guests. Oh, I see a mini cheese grater, some chips, and a miniature onion. Will our guests create a compact crunchy bite or a fiesta fiasco? Welcome to the Taste Made Tiny Kitchen, where we make a big deal out of small stuff. Today, two celebrity guests will march into a bite-sized battle as they attempt to recreate one of our signature tiny dishes. The winner will preserve their pride and receive a very shiny but tiny trophy. Show a little love for Tiny Kitchen Cook-Off. Hi, I'm Monica Padman, and this is Tiny Kitchen Cook-Off, the big cooking competition with tough, tiny challenges. Today, our guests are a dynamic duo of warriors who are not only icons on the TV screen, but also amongst the LGBTQ community. For fans of Xena Warrior Princess and Gabrielle, they are finally back together again. Minus the course, it's a metal bras. From My Life is Murder on Acorn TV, please welcome Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. How are you guys feeling? I can't believe that we have reunited just for Tiny Kitchen. Right? <laughs> yeah. Just for that. It's just for 20 you. years. Awesome. You asked us and we said, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do you guys feel your cooking skills are in general? Well, I watch MasterChef Australia a lot, oh. so I'm right up there. So I watch Chopped. Oh boy. <laughs> Both of you are old veterans. Fair. What did you say? Both you of you are us? old veterans oh, in yeah. the cooking show Viewing. The viewing, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so much of the old, Monica. <laughs> no experience. Anyway. <laughs> I prefer to watch. Do you have a favorite dish that you make at home? I make a lot of Mexican food. I can cook a frittata, which I do often. Okay. But that's all I can cook. I'm a very bad cook. Well, frittatas are good because you could have that for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. True. Yes. And so it's kind of a good one. Full of Swiss chard and cheese. And mm. stuff. Yes. Well, it's time to see what your cooking challenge is today. You may be wondering what's under those silver domes in front of you. So please lift the lids to check out your challenge. I know. Ready? Okay, what do we have? What do we have? Ooh, Wait it looks minute. like Mexican. Is Mexican, it Mexican food. Oh, it's Mexican. It's Mexican food. food. What do we do with these? Oh, you put them on your head. You get extra points for what using this hat. Please? Oh, that's <laughs> what it is. It's Metal do bras brought it all the way back around. You think Mexican cuisine, but can you guess like specifically what? Okay, we've got we have little tostadas, salsa. We have cheese. We have guacamole. We have. Is that like a chili? Like a chili spice, maybe? Isn't that tiny, tiny bowl of meat so intoxicating? Mm. <laughs> Not, Not for you. Really. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's meat. Yes. It's meat. OK, let's take a look at what tiny dish you'll be cooking for us today. What a roll. Look at those little hands. Oh, well, little she cut, she's cutting the, Do we do oh, it as we go? Do no, we do it you have to watch it all oh. first. OK, quarter it, shell it. Shell it? You've got to <laughs> shell. Bless you. I inadvertently made a pun. Did you hear that? <laughs> Shallot, shallot. Okay, oil or whatever. Onion. So we're sauteing. Oh, we're putting the meat in with the onions. The carne. Couscous. The carne, the mince, as we call it in New Zealand. A little jalapeno. Holy smokes, yep. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, look, it's really cooking. <laughs> a little jalapeno with the onion, with the meat. Yeah. All right, a little, yeah. little yeah. spice, a little, little spice. It's a, it's a tomato. tomato. It's a okay, so this could be like an enchilada thing. The Where cheese. did you find a tiny grater? That's Isn't that awesome. cute? Lots for nutmegs. When you were a kid, did you used to listen to that? Who? Swift and Swift would write that story about, oh, Gulliver. Oh. And you imagined being big. Yeah, you know what? This is like a fantasy. Oh, uh, it's nachos. Oh. Ooh, olives, yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to eat one of these to make sure olives everywhere. I um, know, but not traditionally. No, that's not olive oil. That's it? beans. It's black Those beans. are beans. <laughs> Those are black beans. I'm captivated. I'm sorry. Yes, Queen. That's amazing. Oh, I can't thing. wait. I can't have wait. Have you ever made nachos before? Yes, I have actually. Have I you? have. Not, not well, but. Well, I don't think you can mess it up. That's like a one bite nacho right there. 
Well, you were correct. Today, you're making tiny chili cheese nachos. Chili cheese. All right, you guys are feeling good. How are you feeling after watching uh, that video? That was a uh, lot wait, of steps. Wait, what's this? That's the oil, isn't yeah, it? What is this yeah, that's one? the oil. What the hell is that? I don't this one? The music. That's beer. Maybe it's beer. Are you sure? You guys are going to eat all your product. Now, just so you know, know is. what I'm looking for here, I'm looking for as close a copy to the real tiny kitchen dish that you just watched as you can make. I will not be judging on taste, only presentation. So you kind of lucked out there, you oh, know? so shallow. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Shallow. This is the one time I can judge a book by its cover. So ladies, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. You have 20 minutes. Let's make it tiny. All right. Okay. Huzzah. <laughs> that means go, right? That's go. Okay, good. I like the starting with the oven. Let's start with the oven. That was smart. Let's start with the oven. Can you believe they make an onion that tiny? No. I mean, I want that the in my stocking. That is adorable. You're right. Oh, wait. What did I just use? Oh, that's not bloody, bloody blood. That's supposed to be the garnish. God. What'd you do over there? I'll just cut some more. <laughs> it's just the you oil. for me. Now that's still sharp, so don't be, you know, don't get cocky I need this over there. Tiny meat cleaver. It can still hurt you. It's so cool. Do you guys want to make up a theme song for this show? Yes, please. I was hoping you'd ask. <laughs> Just because you're tiny doesn't mean you're not great. That's right. Got to get cooking. I should have put the oil on right away. Oh, you did. You're so smart. I'm going to go for a lot of onion. Where's my stirrer? Do I use that to stir? Are you a clean cook? Yes, you, because yes. I have to do the dishes in my house, so ah, I'm a very clean true. cook. You clean as you go? I do. Yes, I clean before. Before you before even start it out. Before it's even finished cooking, I've done the pots and things, because, oh. I mean, if it's in the oven, it's clean, because otherwise I have to do it after dinner, even if I cook, which is very unfair, but I only cook once or twice a year, so <laughs> a year. mustn't grumble. <laughs> so not very many dishes. Oh my gosh, how's it going in that little pot? It's It's cooking very quickly. Oh, here goes the meat. Okay, I think it's time for a little break. We'll be back with some culinary tips. Stay right where you are. Welcome back to Tiny Kitchen Cook-Off. Our guests, Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor, are cooking up a storm, as you can see, creating their tiny chili cheese nachos. How is it? Oh, I love that. That's exactly how you're supposed right. to put salt on. <laughs> Oh, this is a chili, a chili, uh, chili pepper. Can't you smell it? Yeah, I actually can. Is it a chili? It is a chili. It is totally it's... cooking. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a serious business. It makes me feel like I know what I'm doing, which is makes me feel not like true. I'm in the doll's house. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of that, I'm going to bring in Hannah to help you out, our magnificent tiny food expert. She's going to give you some tips and just, you know, help you with this little miniature meal. Hannah! Help, Hannah! Help, help Hannah! Help, 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 help. Hi, Hannah! Help. Give First us some of all, tips. I just want to say, you guys are doing an amazing job. I'm very impressed with the tiny knife skills, because that is really not easy. Uh, but just a few tips. The little pots, even though it's a candle, it cooks very quickly, it's very hot. So you want to keep stirring and always think of the next thing, like be moving ahead. Okay. Because um, it's all going to come together really fast and you don't want to burn. And when you put the nachos in the oven, I just want to remind you that the heat comes from the top. It's almost like a broiler. And you don't want to take your eyes off them because it will burn really fast. Okay. okay. But so far, so good. I'm very impressed. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, you have less than 15 minutes. So while you're cooking, I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Lucy, ah. you're a producer on My Life is Murder. You can yes, keep cooking and talking. I know, this is hard. I heard that it has sort of a Columbo-esque vibe. Would you say that's right? Yeah, I'd say that's right, yeah. We even got some of the players, original players from um, Columbo. Bill Shatner comes on, which is fun. But it's a little bit like Sex in the City meets Jessica Fletcher. Ooh. If you know what I mean. And can you tell me a little bit about your character, Alexa Crow? Well, she's a cook as well, funnily enough. She is? Part of our That's scene true. is like, she's a, she's a bread baker. And she's just a, she's a fun modern girl with a, a, a really annoying but incredibly indispensable uh, roommate who has followed her over to New Zealand from Australia where we shot the first series. Two women solving 
you know, crimes and, you know, world peace and all that stuff. She is the no... most adorable um, co-star. Well, well um... you're the most adorable. Well, well, of course. <laughs> yeah. but the tiny food is the most Actually, adorable. yeah, it is. Let's get, let's get real. Okay. Can't wait you to try what? the whisk. I don't know why oh, I need a whisk. Oh, but... yeah. I think I turned my stove up a little high. How do you know how do you do that? Well, I'm that's kidding. Crazy I'm just that, that... joking. I'm acting. Renee, how is it being back together? Is it fun? Does it feel like no time's passed? This is such a kick. I mean, you know, first of all, being in New Zealand, working with Lucy was a dream. And uh, <laughs> it was. Aww. And then now to come and, and try to. And then you, next week, you and I are working together on one of my projects. Yes. Ren's coming to be my um, lovely assistant plus advisor on some a private project. I feel like we're fated to I know. be together. <laughs> Well, when you find someone who you work perfectly with, I feel like you just gotta kinda do that forever, right? Yeah. Hangin, wangins. You play a guru, right, Renee? I play a cult leader. Oh, I love cults. I'm obsessed with cults. Do you really? I'm involved yeah. in all the cults. It goes in the oven first, then get stressed, right? Don't you think you'd put this, yeah, you put the cream on after the oven, eh? Yes. Pop it in the oven, yes. then dress it. Yeah. I'm figure out. And um, Renee, is yes. your son on the show? I've heard My your son, son is, is on, on the show. show. I still can't believe it. He's in New Zealand studying acting. He's there for a year. And then this opportunity came up. It still oh. feels so surreal. It's just one of those things, everything just kept lining up too yeah. perfectly. I love that. Like this cooking. <laughs> it's a metaphor for this tiny exactly. cooking. That's right. Where no, that goes. Go? It goes with the other one here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I know. I thought of that too. Don't worry. I, I was oh, wondering no, you the almost same put it thing. Right oh. in the fire, Renee. That's a really good sportsmanship act. You just—you could have let her burn, oh, no. but you saved her. Okay, so we're coming up on the 20th anniversary of Xena, the finale. And do people still recognize you guys? Will you ever outgrow that? Depends where you are. Yeah. Like in New York, I get recognized much more than LA. Wherever you are on air a lot sure. for years, like at prime time, that's where you're recognized. Um, is there some <laughs> smoke? Oh. Is there smoke? There's a, probably, you know. Smoke is yeah. never I think the sign of You know, of good smoke is common with situation. my cooking. I'm not. You know what? Known to be the chef in the family, so this is pretty normal for me. Okay, this seems normal. Okay, yeah. great. So, how do you guys feel about kind of laying a bunch of groundwork and being icons in the LGBTQ community? Does that feel super Look, somebody empowering? Somebody had to do it, Monica. I know. We were very lucky to have been there at the beginning of of this new wave. Normalizing same-sex relationships. I think that's awesome. Do people connect with you guys a lot about that? Absolutely. I'm so fortunate. I have a 15-year-old girl, and honestly, all her friends, uh, guys and girls, just, just feel so accepted nowadays. Wait. Oh, oh no, I didn't put the cheese on. Oh, what kind of no. nachos can you have without you cheese? Have a lot I of broke cheese. my own rule. Lucy, you thought that was going to be your superpower, that you were just going to put a ton of cheese on. So anyway, yeah, it's 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 better than it's ever been. I'm sure there's a long way to go. Um, would you guys ever do a Xena reboot? We're doing it right here, right we now. Are. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> this is it. I'm feeling that. Yes, of course, Renee and I would jump at any opportunity to start. Just notice this mess. This looks like my own. Really? Yeah. Oh, my nerves! Look, it's going. Yours are so clean. I'm making I a huge mess. I'm so That's sorry, you guys. <laughs> So we have some major fans amongst our Taste Made staff, and we have some questions that I wanted to ask you from them. Okay, did you do all of your own fight scenes on Xena? Oh, it's really smoky. Oh, shoot. Really, really smoky. <laughs> so good. Uh, yes, so the answer is yes. We definitely did our own fights, but then we had the most phenomenal stunt team ever that um, made everything look more embellished. So they would go flying through the air and um, made us, especially Lucy, just look like she was uh, a superhero. Well, actually, <laughs> Lucy, because frankly, <laughs> Lucy ain't up too much. <laughs> Renee, is it true that you actually can kick some real ass in life? I don't feel that that's true anymore. Really? No. Do you well, think we'll that's true? Just, I don't think so. Just, you Maybe don't with push my spices. Her she's close to the <gasps> edge. <laughs> Lucy, how was it working on Curb Your Enthusiasm with divine, the Larry David? The divine Larry David. It was fabu, and I adore him. He's just like the character, except smarter and, you know, he's not as crazy. Lucy and Renee, do you both ad lib or do you like sticking to script for your scenes in My Life is Murder? Oh, we ad lib. You do? Yeah. You know, I don't have um, writers who are really precious about that, which is great. And um, it's amazing what makes it into the final card. How did you come up with Xena Warrior Cry? Xena Warrior Cry? Not um, the cry. 
Rob, who is now my husband, said at the beginning, when we were sort of That's developing the series, that she had to have a cry like uh, Tarzan had a cry, you know? Right. So I just sat and did my own version, and Bob's your uncle. And as we will you say, do it for us? When and only when I win. Oh, oh wow. wow. Bribery. Okay. Version. Okay. Just that's fair. No. Is that fair? That's it's what, actually... that's what all you kids say these days. Fair. Everybody's saying fair instead of, oh yeah, I gotcha. They're like, yeah, it's and fair. actually it's not fair. No, so I shouldn't have fair. said that at all. Okay, when we come back, we'll see if Lucy and Renee will be able to take their nachos up a notch. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor are in the studio having a bite-sized battle for tiny chili cheese nachos. Three more minutes to cook. Now I've noticed a couple of things over here. First of all, you both have taken some creative license. You haven't used the brown liquid, which is... That's because it's <laughs> questionable. Yeah, we're, 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 we're not convinced of the quality of okay. it. I tasted it and it tasted like very weak broth. It wasn't made from scratch, so... Oh, and you I don't think it belongs in my nachos. Okay, I, I, that's understandable. I took a sip. I couldn't really recall what it is exactly, even yeah, though I, I was probably told. Okay, so you two are very good friends, obviously, which means you should know each other very, very very well. So we have a rapid fire round called Taste Buzz, where we see just how well acquainted you both are. <laughs> you only have two minutes left to cook, but this is fast. Lucy, if Renee is craving something sweet, does she go for chocolate, cake, a piece of candy, or fruit? She'd probably go for fruit. That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Renee, what is Lucy's favorite dessert? Uh, chocolate. Get a little more specific. Chocolate bread pudding? Yes! No, not at all. Well, sort of. I have tiramisu here. <laughs> like a chocolate bar. All right, chocolates and tiramisu, it all counts. <laughs> Lucy, what character did Renee play for her professional acting debut on stage performance? Lady Macbeth. Porky Pig. Porky Pig! That's right. Same thing. Porky Pig. <laughs> Those Porky are... Pig? Sure. Well, yeah. No. What? Kind of pretty much. Okay. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Bleep. That's all, folks. She reprised her role so sorry. for us just now. <laughs> Renee, what did Lucy want to be when she was younger? An opera singer. <laughs> That's right. Yay. Lucy, apart from my That's life is murder, when has Renee played <laughs> alongside her son, Miles? On stage. Ooh. That's good right. Answer. Romeo and Juliet. I played the nurse. Uh, Renee, in which Hollywood theater did Lucy make her solo singing debut? Hollywood And you theater. might have been a go-go dancer. Just saying. Uh, oh, 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 what's the name of that place? It's not the Roxy. It's the Roxy. It's the Roxy. The Roxy. Oh my gosh. Lucy, in the 90s, who ran Renee's fan club? Her mummy? Yes. Yes. Uh. Okay, last one. <laughs> Renee, what competition did Lucy win when she was 21? Miss New Zealand? That's right. That's right. Really? You obviously did that <laughs> on your own. Not much. <laughs> It looks like your time is up, both on the rapid round and your tiny okay. cooking challenge. Time is up. After the break, we'll reveal who the winner is. We are back, and it is just about time to see who our tiny kitchen queen is. But before we reveal the winner, we have one little last challenge. Oh, Hannah, looky here. Go. Yes. So this is your chance to take a tiny step and win big by creating the ultimate tablescape to display your dish on. As you can see, Hannah has placed in front of you a very large tray of tiny table decor and some puny props. Now that your dish is complete, you have 30 seconds to create your own tiny tablescape to place seconds. your culinary creation on. Well, that's not much, is it? Now remember, I'm okay. only judging on presentation, so <laughs> this is your chance to elevate your dish. You can do it. Are you ready? Uh, go! Uh, go! Uh, uh, I need some plants. Uh, um, plants. Yeah, I'm gonna do cushions because, you know, I'm so yogic. I'm gonna go... Yeah, I'm gonna have the natural... This is the alpaca weave. I'm gonna have that. Cushions this is... for all my oh, three friends. I like friends. this picnic theme we have I need, over here. I need booze. Do you want the mojito or the beer? 15 seconds. Ah. Ah. Neither. I'll have take one of these. Oh, cute. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Hey, gluten free. I'll have Gotta it. Have five. Oh, probably... is this space? Oh, I'm gonna have a cooler. Four. Okay, more. time's up. Yeah. Please place your dishes on your tablescape. Make it cute. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think she's already won. She's already won. <laughs> you guys, you both, okay. First of all, the cactus, great touch. Solo cup, I imagine there to be like a corona. Two people, in there. no free. Right? Yeah. Look at it's, that beautiful plate of nachos. I'm impressed. I'm Have really, it. really You're impressed. Welcome. You're welcome. So I like that this is kind of a, um, I would say a party, like you invited people over, you prepped. Lucy, yours is amazing too, because it has a very cash vibe. Like we're just, know. you know, we're just like out at the park. And very, the very, very cute. This is hard. And you guys are so close. I feel bad ripping your friendship apart, but I have a teeny <laughs> tiny <laughs> trophy. But it represents something really big. The best tiny chef. Oh boy. So the winner of Tiny Kitchen Cook-Off is... Renee. Yeah. It goes to Renee, purely because of the uh, the quantity. Well, she's from Texas. Of I course know. she's going yeah. to overdo the That's situation. right. Everything's big in Texas, but I will be happy to share this with you, Lucy. Every time I see you, I will pass this into your little pocket. No, that's all right. You deserve it. Congratulations. <laughs> Seems like this is the end of your working relationship. In Hollywood together. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's a wrap on this tiny tournament. Thank you, Thank you. to Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor. Check out My Life is Murder on Acorn TV. And remember, it might be hot in your kitchen, but hey, don't sweat the small stuff, right? Don't sweat yeah. the small stuff. Just don't.